Adobe FrameMaker 2017 has expanded support for publishing using the DITA Open Toolkit. Previously, you would generate DITA OT output by choosing your output type, selecting a few options, defining the OT directory, and specifying a DITA val file. When you need to convert structured content to DITA, one approach you can take is to use the Generate DITA OT Output option. This updated dialog supports the same configuration as before, but a new option to customize the way the DITA OT is used is available. Here, users have the option to further customize the DITA OT. For example, if more than one version of the toolkit is installed, a specific directory may be defined. Depending on how the ant build tool is configured on your computer, the command or home locations can be defined. If your ant or XSLT extensions require additional Java libraries in the class path, you can add them to the global DITA OT class path as needed for generating output. The location of the build file can also be set within the dialog, as can extra parameters defined within a properties file. And lastly, if it's useful, the command prompt can be shown during the build process. Now you can build DITA output and do so directly from within Adobe FrameMaker 2017. Regardless of how you publish content, whether using integrated publishing or via the DITA Open Toolkit, it's simpler than ever to create content the way you need. Mm -hmm.